Hi, Joe Glavin with Philadelphia Floor. Today we're going to discuss the O-ring replacement on a Bostitch M3 FS. The Bostitch M3 series has an accessory called the M3 SK. This kit has all the tools and parts for an O-ring replacement. Click on the link below for more information on the M3 SK kit. To begin the O-ring replacement, complete disassembly of the unit is needed. Remove the four Allen head screws to take the top cap off. Remove the three screws for the poppet actuator and remove the actuator. Once the cap and poppet are off, remove the shoe base for access to the bumper. With the shoe base off, remove the entire assembly, which would include the piston stem, the driver piston, the poppet, and the plunger. With the unit disassembled, you can begin to remove O-rings. Be sure to inspect each part for damage. Once the large O-rings are removed from the poppet actuator and the driver piston, use the special wrenches available in the kit to separate the poppet from the piston stem. Remove the smaller O-rings and begin to clean all the parts. Once all the O-rings are removed and the parts are cleaned and inspected, begin to add new O-rings and reassemble the piston, the poppet, and the driver assembly. Use the tools included in M3SK kit. Attach the wrench to the bottom of the driver piston and the middle of the second wrench to the plunger stem. Tighten the assembly so that the plunger is flush with the top of the poppet. A slight film of oil added to the new O-rings will aid in reassembly. In the M3 SK kit, there are two bumpers available. Be sure to choose the appropriate size bumper for the repair you are doing. Once the tool is reassembled, check all the moving parts including the magazine, the pusher, and the magazine cover. Once you're satisfied with the reassembly, attach air to the tool, add some staples or cleats depending on the nailer and test it. Here are the key points for replacing the O-rings in an M3 FS. To purchase any of the tools and materials seen in this video, go to phillyfloor.com.